What is up everybody? Monkey Puzzle here, playing Primitive Plus on the center. We're in update 1.5 of Primitive Plus, which we started last episode, continuing our series from maybe about a month ago, where we were building this village and trying to demonstrate all the stuff available in the Primitive Plus DLC total conversion at the moment, and still got a ways to go because they've added some more content. So last episode, we did a bunch of stuff. We started uh, repairing the bakery and we broke it a little bit in the process, but <laughs> pretty much got that together. They had replaced the Primitive Plus Adobe with Scorched Earth Adobe, which is okay. That is what it is. And then Animal Drops worked again. We went out in search of feathers so we could make this beautiful ghillie suit, which took feathers and leather and fiber. And then uh, we also, in the process, found out that the other animal drops work. So we could get fat from pigs and trikes, and we could get spare ribs, which are amazing. We got some cooked spare ribs here. That's the fat. There wasn't enough here to melt down into the organic oil, but it can be done. And then uh, the other thing we made was bacon. So that's pretty cool. You know, we didn't actually get a chance to test out the bacon last time. We tested the spare ribs and found out that they gave about 35 hunger, which is great. Let's take three of them to fill you up. So right now, my food's at 22.1. And if I eat a piece of bacon, mmm, bacon. See what it goes up to. So that went up 25. So bacon gives you one quarter of your food bar. So not bad. It is bacon and it's yummier, but it looks like spare ribs are really the way to go which is unfortunate because those come from my friends, the trikes. I got had this little pact with them that I tried not to kill trikes. Not that I never do, but all it takes is a few spare ribs, I guess, for me to break my pact. <laughs> Poor trikes. Um, but let me see, these are definitely worth saving more than some raw meat. So we'll put that in there. And another thing I wanted to make with the feathers is Last version, 1.4, to make a canteen, you needed feathers and beeswax, and the drops weren't working, so we couldn't make feathers. So I went ahead and learned the canteen this time, and, oh, I think I have to make it in here, the construction table? Or is it in the advanced workbench? I forget. Let's see. Is canteen? Yeah, it's in here. So for this now, we need... We don't need feathers and beeswax anymore. <laughs> we need clay. So there's a hundred clay. Get in there. Oh, it's full, I think. Does that have enough? Yeah, that's enough clay, cementing paste, and leather. We're going to have to take something out of here in order to make it. We'll take out a stack of that and a stack of that. Things are a mess here because I had to uh, replace my advanced work table when we move stuff around. But now I can throw the leather in there and we can make a canteen. So finally we have moved up to that in Primitive Plus. And if I threw some more clay in there, I could make another one so we can actually hold water on us. So that's good. I mean, we had the water skins before, but we all know how silly those are. But by the time you're thirsty, they're empty. So we moved up with that. So the big goal today is we want to get some bees. Now, Primitive Plus used to have apiaries, and you'd find bees in the bushes pretty much, and you'd put them in there, and there was really no risk. And you could get beeswax, which is pretty important for a lot of stuff. Um, but they took the apiaries out now in favor of the vanilla bees that are in the game at this point. So I thought I'd try my hand at going to get them. So the queen's passively tame with rare flowers, so I got those on me. I got the ghillie on me in order to protect myself. I've got an extra set on me. Let me find some place just to stash that for now. Maybe I'll put it up in my bakery loft up here. Somewheres. Got room for some ghillie. Yeah, so we'll have that in case I get killed. Murderized. Okay, so... Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. The other thing we're going to need in order to get the bees is some bug repellent so they don't, excuse me, try to eat my face off. So to make that, we're going to need uh, several things. Let's see. I think I've learned it. 
And oh yeah, I have to make it in a mortar and pestle type thing, which in here that also includes the hand mill. So for bug repellent, we're going to need narcotics, pelt hair or wool, citronol, and rocker root. So here, some more narcotics. That's all the pelt I have in the world. Um, I do have a bunch of crops over here. So let's grab those and we'll throw those in. So that, that, there's some citronol. Let's grab a hundred of those and some rocker root. I need to do some weeding in my garden apparently. I'll grab that. And then in order to fulfill the pear, pelt hair wool requirement, I'm gonna make another thing that we didn't have before. Let me just go ahead and throw these in. And you get that. And yeah, that's good with that. And let me get that off of me. We can go ahead and make scissors this time, some skizzers, which we didn't have before. So Primitive Plus kept us looking really primitive. So now we can clean up, get a nice haircut. So I'm going to need some flint, obsidian, and some iron ingots. So I'm pretty sure we can handle all that. There is some flint, and there is some obsidian. And I think we've got some iron ingots in here. We do. Okay, so now can I make my skizzers? Oh, I'm probably going to need to make them in something, aren't I? Or would they be in the smithy or at least the advanced workbench, which is the version of it? Uh, it's a very improved smithy that uses less materials. You can see those numbers went down. The obsidian went from 5 to 3. The iron, iron ingots went from 5 to 4. I forget what the flint was. So there's a discount in here. There's that and that and that, right? Yeah, and now we can make a pair of scissors in here. Now I heard haircuts were bugged at the moment. We'll see what we can do. If I take uh, this off, you can see that I am quite the mountain man at this point. I meant to do that. Yes, quite shaggy. <laughs> I was using the hat and the armor and everything to uh, make my hair a little better. I don't mind the beard, but that hair, man, do better than that. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and equip these guys. And so I think we right click. Yep. And let me see. Can we get hairstyles? Yeah, we don't have styles, so... We're going to just have to accept being normal. We'll leave our hair full length. Oh, wait. Here we go. There are hairstyles. That's a pretty good look. <laughs> Although here, it's almost too obvious. What else do we have? We've got the afro, the dreadlocks, the ponytail, and the braids. Oh, I like the braids. Let's do that this time. That looks pretty good. And should we do the full-on beard? That's not bad. Um, or do we have other options for beard? Oh, facial hair. Here we go. Obviously, I haven't done this for a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, is that? I always like my goatee, but I had that before. It looks a little cleaner than the full beard. There's the dread beard, the mutton chops, and curly beard you I mean curly mustache so of all those let's go ahead and keep that beard for now i think and then we'll see what happens from there so it's gonna be cut to zero which is good because we need that hair so let's see how much hair we got and throw it in there we got 20 hair so that will help us make some bug repellent I guess I haven't washed it for a while or something like that, so it's pretty nasty. But uh, we can make that. Let's see how many we can make. Five. So not a ton. What's going to be the short thing in here? Um, it looks like it's, yeah, it's the pelt or the hair. So if I see some wolves or some mammoths or something like that, I just have been a home buddy here making my village and I haven't gone to the places where you can get a lot of the uh, pelt-giving animals. Anyway, so 
I'm going to let this cook up. I'm going to check out my inventory and do a little inventory management. And then I'm going to meet you over in the Redwoods. I've done some scouting and that is where the bees are. I found at least six hives. So I think we're good for that. Hopefully we've got enough bug repellent. We shall see. I've got my rare flowers to help tame up things with. I should probably grab something for pegos there. Here, let's just not put it all there in case the pegos want some. And then, uh, yeah, I'll meet you in the redwoods very shortly. Oh, look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm cleaned up, sort of, except for all these leaves and things on me and moss. But <laughs> all right, see you soon. And we got to start with this scene in the redwoods here because uh, there's one of my brethren up there. Monkey brother, all done in stone. I <laughs> can't quite get to him though, it's quite a tease. Don't give me a monkey temple and don't let me get to it unless I guess grind for a boss fight. Anyway, looky here. Here is a beehive already and this is not one of the ones I scouted. We do have some terror birds down there waiting to terrorize me. So maybe, uh, we'll see. We can get them out of here first. Yeah, let's let them run on their merry way. Yeah, shoo, shoo. All right, and then let's see what we can do about this beehive. So I've never done this before. I did a little bit of research on it, but it looks like, oh, don't fall in the hole. So I need to damage it to a certain extent, and then drones are gonna come out, and if I'm lucky, a, a queen bee will come out. So, guess I've got the obsidian arrows in there. We might as well do that. I'm not sure if it's time for this yet or not, but let's go ahead and do it. Spray on some of my bug spray. And then let's see if we can hit this from here. I guess that's a hit. And uh, it's giving me a little orange marker there. And you got to damage it to a certain point, I guess. And then you got to deal with the drones. I don't know if the queen comes out right away. And a lot of them don't even have queens. They just have honey. I don't know what the percentage is. I don't know much, <laughs> except the things I've told you. And I don't have a way to get up there. I don't have like... Well, I do have a cats, actually. I might have... Might have been a good idea to bring that so I could just stand up here next to it. Hit it with my pickaxe or something. Although this does give me a little time to prepare for when the drones come out. Uh, we'll see if I need to fly back from my Quetzal. Or not. Uh, we got to get at least a hive going. So they've modified these so that they don't just give honey here. They also do the beeswax. This is just to ploy. Use up all my obsidian arrows. Uh, I'm going to keep going. And if it takes much longer, I'll just cut to when the drones come out to attack me. And I don't know how impervious I'm going to be to them in my gilly and with my bug repellent. Now, uh, that's actually the marker for that. Yeah, I don't get a marker when I just hit the tree. I'm pretty sure I am actually hitting it. And too bad I don't have something heavier to do this with. I guess I could have made the musket. But, you know, from the testing I did... The obsidian arrow with the recurved bow actually does more damage than the musket. Alright, that's taking a long time. Maybe... I don't know if this is the right thing to do. Can we come up here? Oh! There they are. Okay. Ooh, do I... Oh, I had one. Excellent. Let's call my bird. And let's see what happens. 
Okay, so you land. Or stay with me, I guess. Make sure you're on passive. So they were up there, they just hadn't come down. So I need them to get close enough to me that I can get it with, uh, feed it the, um, what should we call it, the rare flower. How do I pull that off here? Come here. And they knocked me right off. You're pretty. Knocked me right off. Oh, what's this down here? Oh, okay, I thought maybe that was some dropped honey. But it's just the trick of the light. You guys still up here? Where'd they go? Hmm. Did they fly away somewhere? Or do I have to do it again? I have no idea. What happens if I attack this? Oh, there they go. Okay, so let's lead them somewhere reasonable. I see lots of wild giant bees. I don't know if any is a queen. It did that to me again. Up, oh, up. Oh. What are you? You're not the queen. You're just attacking my bird. Okay. Yeah. And you're a stupid terror bird. Nobody loves you. Well, this is doing the thing where it's attacking me on the bird, and not the bird itself. So this is a lot like fighting a Dimorphodon. But this beehive is definitely alive. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't seem to... Uh... Oh, God. Oh, not you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I was trying to throw down a sleeping bag. But you know what? There is some beds around here. Syntac was over here, and there's the tree sap of Jim Bob's. We're going to do respawn in Syntac base. He's not playing the map this time, but uh, can respawn here. This is, he has another one that uh, here. Let's respawn there. And there's actually some birds over here, so we'll borrow one of his Argies. Which he certainly will never notice since he's not playing the map. And if I can get back before my bird on passive gets killed. Hi, Syntax. Grab somebody. And run back over there. We've also turned on the thing that's supposed to give you a beacon at your death point. But I don't know if that's working now or not. Uh, we will find out pretty quickly. But I should be able to recognize that. Ooh, RGs are so slow now. Okay, I'll meet you over there. Okay, here we are. My bird is floating nicely. Let's put it on neutral right now so it can defend itself. We're back. My bag is going to be over here somewhere. I do not have a little death marker, which we're supposed to have. I have to check on that config again. But as soon as this dude is gone, or maybe we lead him away, I got to grab my satchel. Hello. Nothing personal. You ain't mad. I don't really want to kill it. Just trying to take it off the cliff. There you go. Get one last hit on me. And then somewhere over here. There. If that's not the terror birds. That is the terror birds. Oh, here I am. <laughs> Poor me. <laughs> okay. There's all my stuff. And first things first. Or I should have done before. Is put that down okay and then 
Yeah, you get a meal for your trouble. So let's see about this again. You need to be on follow. And so we still got the hive here. Let's go ahead and get equipped. This is definitely seeming like it's going to take some doing to figure out how to do this exactly. Oh, <laughs> micro raptors were taking some licks at me. All right, so I think on a Quetzal platform would be the easiest way to do this. Oh, 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 I see you. Little micro raptor again. I hate those guys too. Nothing but trouble. Okay, where can I put these birds for safety? If it's just there by itself. Oh, oh you're following that one. Let's see if you can hang out there. And I'll just hold on to the RG for a second. Here, and let's just take another look at this. I'm going to go ahead and use another one of these. Some deodorant. Okay, so we got lots of bees. Two bees. I'm trying to, I wonder how you can tell the drone, or not the drone, the queen, opposite of the drone. There's no C in that. Let's see, the Microraptors are probably going to give me trouble, but... Okay, you are just a wild giant bee, and now you're eaten. That was not a queen. Okay, land. Let's put you up here. And I'm just going to keep trying this until... I think eventually... Queen's going to come out, right? And then I'll passively tame it with the rare flowers. That's a bunch of them this time. Okay, let's put you here. See if they come after me. And hopefully we don't end up with a dead queen. Of course, they're not going to come after me. Oh, not one of you guys. <sighs> you know, where I live in California, the redwoods are actually a peaceful place. <laughs> None of this malarkey. Now what happened to those bees? Did they just despawn or what? This is not the easiest process in the world, that's for sure. Are you all drones? How do I tell? I'm assuming the queen would be bigger. Oh, and then we didn't want that to happen. Whew. I think that is all of those that I get. Hello. Thank you. So, from the air, you, no way to get a look at them. So, let's try luring them up again. Come on. Come up to where the terror birds and the micro raptors are at. Looks like they're coming. Okay, let's see if I. And those guys just kill them all. But they're all just giant bees. I think the queen would have a different name. I'm assuming. Okay, calm down. Eventually, she's going to come out, right? I'm 
not totally thrilled with this process at the moment, but I'm not going to complain too hard yet. Let's see, can I take shots at it from up here? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see, but I think I'm too far away. For them to come all the way up here. There we go. And oh, I didn't put these on. Yeah, they may not find me up here. Well, hopefully, this is going to be a successful episode and not a big fail. If I do fail, I'm sure you all will tell me. How, what I did wrong. Hey, come on. Guys. Guys and gal. Hopefully gal too. Okay, I'm going to put those guys on passive for a moment. And maybe not. Okay. Go ahead and get them. Giant bee, giant bee. I'm assuming that the queen wouldn't attack. That she'd kind of hang back. Okay, everybody chill out again. You're good. Let's get you back. You have a snack before the snack attracts some something else. And let's do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna keep repeating this process, I guess, until something else happens. I'm just looking at all the death messages. They don't hit that hard anyway. Birds are not getting bloodied up. And their AI is so much better at this than I would be. Alright. We know the drill at this point. I'm wondering if this is just infinite. Do I need to do more damage to the hive? That's the part I don't know. I mean, it's got to be accumulating, right? Is it hive healing? Or not? Do I, can I actually get... You know what I haven't tried is scoping it. 46.30. Oh, and look at that. It is healing. Oh, man. It's almost full health. And I got to get it down to nothing? Is that the deal? Oh, Bacon, you are awesome. Who knew? Oh, shoot. This might be it. Yep. <laughs> At least I got the sleeping bag this time. Oh, yeah, I don't like this. All right, there's the sleeping bag. Now I'm out of those. I need to make another one. Oh, it's still there. No, that's the broken sleeping bag. Okay, can I make one? Oh, I don't have all my stuff, right? Let's get that. So let's see if I can get the birds back. Good birds. Okay. And where's bacon? You down here somewhere? Bacon. Good bacon. And my body. 
Must be down here somewhere. Yep, there I am. Come on, Bacon, let me go. All right, this is a crazy adventure. Free monkey puzzle snacks. To eat the hand that feeds you. And then with the stuff on me now, let's see. Can I make a sleeping bag? We want six. No, what am I missing? Oh, you, know, you know what? I don't think I've learned it again this time. We still have that free mind wipe. Okay, we're gonna try one more thing before I'm done here. We're gonna go ahead and just go at it with the rest of my obsidian arrows and see how much damage I can do to it. Because I think I have to break it, right? Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep going through that cycle of drone just dealing with drones while it heals okay so that's on the mark at least it was let me find my mark and then i'm just going to keep going at it there it is all right I'm going to just do all my arrows till the thing breaks. Okay, that's all the obsidian arrows. Let's see what how much damage we did. That's only half. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, I do have a bunch of regular arrows. So I guess I'll just keep going with those. Where's my long neck when I need it? And my bow broke. Alright, I don't think I can fix this bow without a smithy or something. Let's see, recurve. I haven't actually learned it yet. And I also haven't learned the parachute yet. Let's learn that. Can I make a parachute? Can. Make a couple of those. Three of those. And the recurve? I don't think so. It's gotta be fixed at smithy. All right, y'all, this is going to be a part two for this. I think I've got the strategy down where I'm going to have to break the thing, but I'm going to have to try again next episode more equipped, and we'll go at it right away <laughs> like that. Until then, this is Monkey Puzzle, a little deflated, but uh, hopefully I've learned something. All right. Thanks for watching until the very end of this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.